So you want the numbers on Anthony Davis on the floor versus off the floor when he's playing. They outscored the Lakers when they take him off the floor. And again, he did not play in the fourth quarter, as has become the norm. He, they were outscored by 10. He hasn't played in the fourth quarter of a game since February 9th. So let's take this to the table for the first time. Lakers win. They need a win, obviously, mm -hmm. badly. Jay, what did you see from LeBron and company last night? I give LeBron credit for being able to recalibrate the way he leads. I, I think the traditional way of the way LeBron is used to be leading, uh, as far as saying things in the media, it doesn't equate to this team. It doesn't equate to millennials and Gen Z. Uh, I think his ability to change up the energy. The other day you saw him in shoot around, making shots, doing the little Michael Jackson kick thing with his leg, really making it fun. It wasn't the grave site kind of yard mentality that LeBron's had. He made the game fun. He made everybody else loose. And you saw that in the way the younger players played. Guess who I'm going to give credit to? Luke Walton. Hmm. Because the last time I checked, I said the Lakers' three best players are LeBron James, Kyle Kuzma, and Brandon Ingram. Now, that's not a force defensively to stop people from getting layups and dunks against you, but it makes you faster offensively. So much so, that's who he started. Brought JaVale McGee off the bench, who was also 5-for-5 five five and played really well in that role. So it allowed the Lakers to play more to their pace as an offensive team versus one that was trying to play with a lot of height because that doesn't maximize LeBron James' skill. And all that is well and good, and they needed a win, and they get one. They remain three games out of a playoff spot. Can we just, however talk about what the real story is here. This Anthony Davis thing has become a farce. This is a joke. They're making a joke of an NBA game. This is a legitimate NBA game that has postseason implications. And I understand they have been placed, not of their own making, they the Pelicans, in a terrible situation because his agent says he wants out and the league says you can't bench him. So they've got to figure out something. I'm not blaming them. But there has to be a better way than this to announce before the game. Eh, he'll play five minutes in the first quarter, five minutes in the second quarter, five minutes in the third quarter, and no minutes in the fourth quarter. <laughs> and to stick to that script, regardless of the circumstances of the game, Jalen, it's a joke. This is an NBA game, and they've turned it into a joke. Well, it's a mockery. And the thing is, you have fans that pay top dollar to come watch these games. How about the people that gamble on these games? And so, like, for the NBA, it's a unique situation when you have a top flight player in a situation like Anthony Davis is with the Pelicans, at some point you just got to not play him. That's, just let that, him sit that, out. Just that, let him sit that out. That helps more the integrity of the game to actually play Right, because we minutes. all know what's going on here. They are trying to make sure he doesn't get hurt, that he stays this great commodity that they have that they'll use on the trade market. Why even play him at this point if it's going to be what it is? I get it. If he's going to play in every single minute of the game, he's going to be a big factor. That's great. If he's not, why do it? I don't put that on the Pelicans, though. I put no. that on the NBA. That's an Adam Silver issue that he has to deal with. You have to find a way to – the best leaders are able to be malleable. You have to be able to change as times change. And I think that's going to be a huge challenge for Adam Silver. Listen, mm. I, I understand where the commissioner is coming from. I can't be a hypocrite. I'm the one who yells and screams about healthy players resting all the time. I want to see that. People have paid money to see Anthony Davis. They deserve to. So, commissioner, I get where you're coming from on this. Having said that, however, this is not the solution. No, I, I don't agree. know what is. Someone smarter than me has to figure out the solution. But this can't be it. And also, we came bury the lead and LeBron. LeBron James articulated so amazing things of why the Lakers actually won. Yesterday's game was won because Anthony Davis's minutes were limited. Absolutely. Agreed. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why they Dude, actually won. 22 points in 20 minutes. And that yeah, impacts exactly. other teams. I mean, these, are, these are playoff relevant games. It's terrible.